What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are gonna do a speed test between the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now this is a Snapdragon variant I have got here and this is on the A16 Bionic. We're gonna open a few system applications, some third-party applications and some games and do some other tasks and see which phone performs better. Now first, let's make sure both the phones are on the same Wi-Fi network. As you can see, both are on the same Wi-Fi. Now let's go back. I just go to settings on both the phones. Here on the S22 Ultra, we do have some uh, battery optimization settings. I will open battery settings here and tap on battery. And I'll tap on more battery settings to make sure I have selected the maximum processing speed on the S22 Ultra. Now on the iPhone, we don't have such settings here. Uh, if I tap on uh, battery health, we have maximum capacity here and I don't have any other options to select the performance options here. Anyway, now I selected the maximum performance speed or processing speed on the S22 Ultra. Let's go back. Now first, let's turn off the phone and turn them on simultaneously to see which one turns on faster. Samsung is still booting up here. It's taking way more than I expected. Anyways, now it's unlocked. Again, it's still taking some more time to completely boot up the device. The widgets are processing and it is gonna be a little slow when it boots up. Now, as you can see on the iPhone, it is, of course, faster. Now, of course, the boot up test is won by the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It was able to boot up faster and it was quicker to stabilize the system, whereas the S22 Ultra took a long, long time. Now, what I've done is I have grouped a few applications together here. Uh, we are gonna open some of the system applications and third-party apps and some games and see uh, which phone performs or opens these applications faster. Uh, let's begin with okay before that we will make sure that there is nothing uh, in the recents menu I will just close all the applications here Everything is closed here on the iPhone. There is nothing in the recents. Uh, now. Let's begin with the calculator Almost close now let me open the internet app on the Samsung which is the default internet application on this phone and here we have got Safari Looks like Safari is, of course, faster. All right, now I have got the first web result here. I'll just open 9to5google.com website on both these browsers. It was faster on the S22 Ultra. Let me open messaging app. Faster on the Pro Max. Let's open calendar. Faster on the Pro Max. Now let's open Google Maps faster on the S22 Ultra. YouTube, almost the same. All right, now let's start with the third-party applications. I will open Twitter. Slightly better or faster on the S22 Ultra. Now let's open Instagram. Faster on the Pro Max. I'll open Spotify. Faster on the Pro Max. Now let me open a couple of games here. Let's start with Call of Duty. S22 Ultra started faster. Let's see where it ends up. S22 Ultra is slightly faster over here. Now let me just go home. Now I will tap on Genshin Impact. 
Let's see who's going to open this faster. Looks like Pro Max is faster in this case. Yes. As you can see, the Pro Max is faster in opening this game. Now let's open camera simultaneously on both these devices. The Pro Max opens the camera slightly faster. Now what we're going to do is we will click a photo at the maximum resolution on both these phones. Now as you can see I have turned on the RAW here which is going to shoot the photos in 48 megapixel and on the S22 Ultra I will select 100 megapixels here. Usually when we turn on the maximum megapixels or the maximum resolution formats, the phone is going to take a bit of a time to process the image. So let's test this. I will tap on the shutter button on both these phones now. As you can see, the Pro Max is taking a slightly longer time to process it. Whereas on the S22 Ultra, 108 megapixel is being processed faster. I'll just tap on this again. As you can see, it's already processed here and this takes a couple of more seconds to process the image. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to edit and render a video file on both these devices and see which one renders it faster. I've got InShot application on both these phones. Let me just open this. Now I'll tap on video, a new project. I will select similar video files here. As you can see, I've got one minute, eight seconds video, one minute, 14 seconds video, and 52 seconds here. It's showing 53. It's the same video clip. I will select these three. Now I'll tap on save. It is showing me the resolutions here. I'll tap on resolution. Let's see what is the max we have here. We have got 4K. I will select 4K resolution here. And frame rate is 30 FPS, format is MP4. Let me also select MP4 here. Now you can see the estimated size is 551 and 582 MB. Let's tap on save. As you can see, it's a bit of a surprise you have seen in most of the comparison videos on YouTube, wherein the Pro Max is processing the videos faster, whereas here, uh, the S22 Ultra is doing much better. As you can see, it's already at 45%. This is still at 40, uh, this is still at uh, 35%. And uh, the S22 Ultra is doing a far better job in rendering this video. As you can see, the S22 Ultra is almost done. Whereas the Pro Max is still at 75%. It's completed here. And here, another 22% to go. Now this test result was a bit surprising indeed. Now let's go to the recents and see how they manage these apps in the background. Let me open InShot app. As you can see, it is working fine. I will tap on uh, camera. Let me tap on Genshin Impact. Both the phones refresh the game. I will open the Call of Duty. As you can see, this uh, Pro Max did not refresh the game, whereas on the S22 Ultra, we could see some refresh happening there. Let's open Twitter. Again, there is some refresh happening on the S22 Ultra. Let's open Spotify. Again, there was some refresh happening here on the S22 Ultra, whereas on the Pro Max, even though it did refresh, it was pretty quick and smooth. Now let me open Maps. Both are working fine. Now let's open any of the applications which we opened in the beginning. The browser. Uh, Pro Max seems to be handling it better. Let's open the dialer. It seems snappier on the Pro Max for some reason. I'm not sure whether it's the animation or 
the app itself is managed well in the background. Let's open YouTube. Both had to refresh. Now let's open the messaging app. I think it's the animation which is doing this trick on the Pro Max, which looks much better. This is how these phones are managing the applications in the background. Both phones seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure why the video rendering was faster on the S22 Ultra. I've seen many videos on YouTube wherein the Pro Max was handling it better. Probably I'll have to install some other application and see which one is faster. Now I've seen most of the YouTubers uh, not keeping the S22 Ultra on the maximum processing speed when they do the uh, speed test. Uh, that is something you need to note here. When you set the processing speed to maximum, you will see S22 Ultra doing a better job as well. Now, of course, when it comes to the benchmarks test, the Pro Max does a better job. It is a far superior device to the S22 Ultra when it comes to the uh, Geekbench uh, scores. But when it comes to the real life scenarios, opening applications, handling the apps in the background, both phones do a good job. Uh, I don't doubt on any of these devices. They are pretty good. Now you let me know which one do you think is better and faster. Drop a comment. And if you're interested in these wallpapers, I have left a link for that in the description. You will see the wallpapers in each and every video. If you're interested in them, you can download them by clicking on the link, which is in the description. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you want to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.